Look out, here she comes The woman that I love It's too bad she'll never know Yeah, I can't tell her how I feel Because she has someone who makes her happy I'm a ghost in these walls Or at least I try to be Cause I hope that I'm not showing How I feel for her But she won't feel the same for me I've got this picture in my mind It's just the two of us Just the two of us But I know I have to try Try to let her go Because she won't be mine I listen with Good morning family Well, I just woke up It's Monday morning, one of my days off And I decided to turn on the camera and talk to you While I get ready for my day If anybody's interested, I use Pixie on my skin. This is the Pixie Glow Mud Cleanser. I use the whole line, so I'll show you what I'm doing as I do it, okay? So, I was up pretty late last night. It's hard for me to sleep, even on my days off. because my body is already adjusted to um, working overnight. So one of the things that my husband and I did was we purchased some blackout curtains for the room. If you see any of my previous videos, you would have saw the um, hall where I shared the curtains that are going up in the house. So the only pair that we put up so far were the blackout curtains in the bedroom. And I'll show them to you. It's gonna get dark because I'm gonna cut um, the lights out just to show you the effect so i have the bedroom door closed so i don't disturb my husband who's in the living room and i'm going to cut the light off in the bathroom so you can really see the effect so just listen to me okay so i'm looking into my bedroom and this is what i see so you can see from the top of the curtain where the curtains are but this will just give you an idea of how dark it gets in the room, okay? And since I'm up and I'm not going back to bed, I'll go ahead and open the curtain and show you what it looks like. With the curtains open so now you see i haven't made up the bed yet so so don't mind how short they are i actually got the 84 inch that's why my husband tied up the shears because it just didn't look right with the shears hitting the floor and the curtains weren't but i've ordered the 92 inch and when they come i'll put the 92s up and send the 84s back i haven't had them that long but just see how bright it is in the room now. So, so as you can see, the blackout curtains are working really well. They help you get, they help you get a good sleep. So that's been helping. Um, 
but it just takes some adjusting. So with that in mind, my face is dry now, it's gotten tight. So with that in mind, um, I wanted to answer Thomas Henderson's question that um, he posted last night. He asked how I was enjoying my job now um, after I've been doing it for a while. So I wanted to talk about that. I did share in the video that I posted yesterday. It's Vlogist. And this is day four's video, you guys. It's Vlogist and it's day four. And I don't think that um, I shared this part with you too. But I'm going to be try to make the video on the day and post it on the day. So we'll see how that goes. Um, so anyway, this is Vlogist day four. Um, and the topic of the day, as you guys get to know me for the month of August, is now that I am no longer working from home, am I enjoy working at an actual facility? This is the Pixie Skin Treats uh, Vitamin C Tonic. I put the cleanser on first, and then I put the tonic. And you just put it on a um, cotton ball and rub it all over your face. I've done it once. I'm just making sure that I get everything. And I um, put it on my lips, too, because my lips need a little tonic. My lips need a little, little love, too. I have, um, when I first purchased Pixie, I bought this little sample pack. Because Pixie is a little expensive. It was $26 for the little samples. And the only thing that I have left is the Pixie Glow Mud Mask. And I haven't done a, mud, a mask in a while. But I've already done the tonic. So I'll probably do this tomorrow. Um, but when I reorder everything, because it's, it's getting low, I've got, you see how much tonic I have. So maybe another two weeks or so to be time to replenish I'll probably get um, the mud mask also because I really like it um, as a result of how I like the trial um, that's why I purchased the big ones and um, I will repurchase them because I love how they make my skin feel I love how they make my skin look so anyway that's off topic last thing I'm going to do and I think I will put on the mud mask because we'll be talking. So this is the Pixie Glow Mud Mask. I can always put on more tonic. Okay, so let's put on the mask while I talk. So I work from home for four and a half years. And I love working from home. Because I could work in my pajamas. I didn't have to get up an hour before I had to be to work. I basically rolled out of bed at 6.45. Sometimes I hit the snooze until 6.50. And I clocked in at 7 o'clock. I didn't have to have my teeth brushed to clock in. My face washed. I could just clock in. Start answering emails. Take a break when I got ready to go wash my face, brush my teeth, take a shower, get some coffee, eat food on my break so I could put dinner on. It was very convenient. And I really like that. And I still miss the ability to do that because my house stayed cleaner. And there was always dinner ready for my husband. And it was just convenient. But I got the bug about a year or two um, to work outside the home because I started to feel like I needed a separation. Um, and I did. I, I needed a separation. And um, I don't know if I talked about this before, but I also needed a place where I could learn some new things and um, grow in my role so that I could move on to the next level. And so I decided to start looking for opportunities outside of the home because I knew that the in the position that I'm in, I'm an HR assistant. In the position that I'm um, in, HRAs do a lot more. So it would be opportunities for me to learn and grow 
and hopefully promote to the next level, which was different than working from home. You don't promote. You have to apply for an open position. You have to interview with a panel of at least seven, at least, excuse me, a panel of at least three people. Um, and then they all have to incline you. So in the fulfillment center, you prove yourself in your job and then in six months to a year, you promote. And so I decided to go that route and I finally found a position close enough that I would be comfortable driving every day. Um, I live in Locust Grove and I work in Macon. It's a 50 mile drive. However, um, it's a straight shot down 75. I live two minutes from the exit and my job sits right on 75. So it's very convenient drive. And so I decided to go ahead and apply. I interviewed and I got the position. So I was really excited about that. Um, and I started working the first week in June and it is now August 4th. So here is my 30 something. Here's my two month review. So I still like the idea of um, growing and I've grown a lot. Um, HRAs at a fulfillment center versus HRAs working from home is totally different. I'm in a stretch role. I'm doing the role of a senior HRA. I'm doing the role of an HR business partner. Everybody's doing everybody's job. So it's the opportunity to learn so much. I have learned in two months, I have learned so much. It, it's a, it was a real, it's been a real eye opener as to how the business of Amazon runs. It's been a real eye opener as far as dealing with people. There are over, there's like 2,300 people in my building. So there's 2,300 personalities and I have probably met at least 1,500 of them. Um, do I enjoy working there? Yes, I do. I enjoy, um, I actually enjoy my shift too. I work from 3.30 in the evening to two in the morning. I don't mind that shift at all. I like working with people. So it's, I'm really happy to be there. Um, my ministry, I'm one of y'all with witnesses, is the field, being out in the field. However, comma, night shift is a whole ministry by itself. Um, just helping people work through problems, deal with things. That's what I like. Thinking outside the box to get stuff done. That's what I like. I'm really enjoying it. Those are the pros. Working with people, learning new things. I have a great team that I work with. Even though my manager is leaving to go to another site in another state, and we don't know who our manager is going to be, the team that's there, the, the HRAs and senior HRAs, are absolutely wonderful. Um, the cons is the drive. The cons is that 56-mile drive every day. It's okay going, but coming home at 2 a.m. when you're tired after 10 hours, it's hard and it's scary and that's the biggest thing the biggest issue is the drive the other con is COVID is still on the rise everywhere in Georgia um and so you just really have to be careful now we are practicing social distancing six feet apart at all times mask at all at all times which is also hard because sometimes I am in a training class introducing everything, HR benefits, pay, insurance, etc., And you're talking for 20 minutes with a mask on. So I spend the day hold, the talk holding my mask like this away from my face. It's hard on my voice. That's the third thing. So the first thing is the drive. The second thing is wearing masks all day. I don't mind wearing masks in this pandemic. It's wearing it all day, and especially when I have to talk a lot. And the third thing is talking for 10 hours straight. It's the reason that my voice sounds like this. I am constantly talking and I haven't talked in five years. So my voice is always gone. It's always like this. It's always raspy. So, you know, it's it's really been a joy having this job experience. 
but those are the cons. So <laughs> that I hope that answers your question. Yes, I'm enjoying it, but there are with as with anything, there's some cons to it. Um, my plan for working at this fulfillment center, honestly, is to just learn I, all I can learn until I get to the next level. And then once I get to the next level, deciding that that's where I want to stay. I love HR. Not sure if HR is where I'm going to land in the next five years, my long-term goals. But right now, my short-term goals is just to learn all I can learn and grow as much as I can grow until I get to the next level. I really want to be a senior HRA. I feel like I felt like I was ready to be a senior HRA a long time ago. And so um, it didn't happen in, in the position or in the department that I was in. And I didn't feel like it was going to happen. So I moved on to another position, to another place so that it could happen. Um, I've never been happier um, outside of the home than I am right now. I have nothing bad to say about Amazon. I have nothing bad to say about the place that I work. It is challenging. The HR role is challenging because it's so broad. It's broad meaning like there's not a clear definition of what your job is. Everything that happens in that building comes through HR. I'm not used to that. I'm used to being in a department where the responsibilities, we teach managers how to lead. We take, teach managers how to handle the response, how to handle the issues that arise with their associates. We coach them on how to do it. We help them through it. So now I'm in a role where all of the responsibility falls on us. Every single thing that issue that happens with the associate comes to us. It could be a lot. It could be overwhelming. It's mentally draining. Like I said, it's 2,300 associates in our building. So when you have 2,300 issues, 2,300 personalities, it could be draining. But I'm not bashing that or talking about them. That's the job. That is the job. So... You do what you must. You do what you have to do. You get through every day. You deep dive into situations to uncover the best possible resource to, I just used the last cotton, grab the last cotton score up and then get some more. So, I don't know how I'm going to, y'all have found these great cotton swabs, and, but they're huge. I thought I had some more small ones. These are huge, and I, I can't put these <laughs> in that little container, but I thought that I had I thought I had some more small ones. Pretty sure I do. I just don't know where I stuck them. So I'm gonna leave that there for right now. No, I'm not. Because it's in the way of your view. Oh, here they are. See, all I had to do was bend over. So I'm gonna use these and I'm gonna use those when I need them. I got them because I love how big they were, but I don't have a place to like a container at this time to store them in. So, let's see. This is what our little thing looks like. And, um, Put 
some more two tips in there. So I don't know. I'll use these as needed. So let's put some more tonic on the face. This tonic also helps to get off any residue like earlier when I clean my face and then use the tonic. Um, it's orange on here, so it's not dirty. But if I left any mask, it'll grab that. But it refreshes my skin. It's that last layer of clean. It's got big vitamin C in it. It smells great. I put the link to everything I'm using, if I can find it, down in the description box. I got some long hair on my chin. Y'all don't do this at home. Get you some nair or something. It doesn't break me out all the time. It has once or twice before. Doesn't do it all the time. Hopefully it won't do it this time. Okay, so once you use your tonic and you feel your face starting to tighten up, then you put on your vitamin C and your, and I use a serum and I'll show you all that in a second. Okay, so this is the vitamin C lotion. It's my moisturizer. I use just a little dab. Looks like that. And then this is the Pixie Skin Treats Vitamin C Serum. It's got a dropper. Grab just a little and just put a drop. Looks like that. And I just rub it together. And I try to do circular motions upwards. Oh, and my skin just feels so good. I don't know if you can really see the glow, but it's glowing. It feels good. I love it. So anyway, that's it, you guys. I just wanted to share how I'm feeling. Um, working for Amazon is amazing. I love the, the pay is competitive. The insurance benefits are absolutely wonderful. Um, it, they, it covers so much. Um, you have the ability to be an owner with stock options. Um, it's just, uh, they take care of their company. Uh, the company takes care of their people. Our owner, Jeff Bezos, just gave everybody a thank you bonus. Uh, base bonus was 500. Leaders got 1,000. And that was uh, stretched across all orgs. Uh, FCs, customer service, Whole Foods, everybody. It was in the paper, so I can talk about it. Um, when COVID-19 started, um, everybody got an extra $2 an hour. It's, he's just, he takes care of us. He just really takes care. And there's some other COVID-related um, benefits that um, he has. So just an amazing company, and I love working for him. I chose to leave the house, so... I'm making the most of it, and for the most part, I'm loving it. Y'all pray for me when I'm coming home in the evening because it's really hard driving after 10 hours for 56 miles. So that's by far the biggest issue that I'm having and experiencing. And then getting used to not being able to sleep at night. <laughs> I, I don't fall asleep till 4 or 5 o'clock, whether I work or whether I'm off. So, um... But yeah, that's it. So I'm going to take a shower and get dressed and I'll probably make another video. Um, maybe. I'll start a video for tomorrow. I know I'm trying to make the video on the day. So maybe not. Maybe I'll wait till tomorrow. But anyway, thanks so much for watching. Vlog is day four. See you guys in the next video. Bye.